In this lesson, you will learn what a career in project management is like and complete a project that might be used by professionals in the field. You'll also discover the next steps for enrolling in the Google Project Management Certificate Program or trying out a new career instead if you'd like. If you're already familiar with the project management career path and you're ready to start the certificate program, click the link next to this video. A project manager plans and organizes a project so that it can be delivered on time and on budget. A core role of the project manager is to keep all stakeholders informed and involved throughout the project. Stakeholders are the people who are invested in a project's outcome, like senior leaders at a company. Depending on the company, a project manager may be responsible for managing the release of a new product, service, website, or application. Project managers also assign roles and responsibilities for a project and try to foresee any potential risks or problems that may occur. This requires them to prioritize work on multiple projects at once and quickly solve problems while also managing deadlines and budget challenges. For example, while monitoring a project, a project manager may notice that their team is struggling to meet deadlines or stay on budget. Foreseeing this potential risk, they would try to find solutions to budget or scheduling challenges by reassigning tasks or working with stakeholders to increase the budget. Almost every business or organization relies on a project manager or project management team to complete projects. Whether it's a construction, finance, government, healthcare, creative, or technology company, having a project management team is vital to the success of projects. While many people in this field have the job title of project manager, other job titles in the field include project coordinator, project administrator, operations manager, and program manager. Many different people with a wide range of experiences and interests can become project managers. And the skills you might already have developed in your personal and professional life might transfer to a career in project management. These are called transferable skills. Transferable skills you might use in the project management field include being an effective communicator, being organized, working well with others, being able to work on multiple projects at once, and having the ability to overcome challenges. If you have ever planned or organized a trip or event, filed your taxes, or put together a schedule, you have acted as a project manager. If you like doing these kinds of activities, you might enjoy a career in the project management field. For some entry-level project management positions, no technical knowledge or college or university degree is required. Some positions in this field do require training or education. If training is required for a position you want, the Google Project Management Certificate Program can provide you with the skills that you'll need for an entry-level job in project management. In this lesson, you'll be working in a document in Google Docs. If you need an introduction to Google Docs, consider using the additional resource linked on your screen before completing this lesson. If you have knowledge of using Google Docs, move on to the next video. In this video, you will begin to create a meeting agenda template that could be used by someone in the project management field. A template is a basic outline that can be used over and over to save time. It can also be adapted or customized depending on what it's used for. Project managers regularly meet with stakeholders and team members to track the progress of a project. For example, if a project manager is overseeing the development of a new website, they may meet with graphic designers, copywriters, and web developers about the status of a project. Using a meeting agenda helps a project manager set clear expectations for a meeting and helps attendees prepare. Having a set agenda also helps a project manager make sure any unfinished business, new business, and action items or next steps for a project are discussed. A meeting agenda is also a useful record of communication and decisions made about a particular project. As you complete this project in Google Docs, you will create a meeting agenda template, add formatting to your template, add a table of contents, copy and paste your template to reuse it, and insert a comment and tag a coworker. This lesson uses Google Docs, but you could apply these skills and concepts in most other word processing applications. When you're using Google Docs, it might be helpful to use keyboard shortcuts. Using shortcuts can make it easier to interact with Google Docs. Click on the links next to this video to learn how to use 
this and other features. To work on this lesson, sign into your Google account. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to google.com. If you're not signed in, do so now. If you do not have a Google account, pause the video and create one. To begin, open Google Drive. Create a new document in Google Docs and rename it Meeting Agenda Template. Now it's your turn. Sign into your Google account, create a new document, and rename it. In this video, you will add sections to your Meeting Agenda Template that will provide useful information about a meeting. To begin, add a title to make it clear to coworkers and stakeholders what the document will be used for. Next, add a purpose section to your template so that your attendees can prepare for the meeting. The purpose of a meeting could be to check in about the status of a project or discuss changes to a project timeline. It is important to include information such as the date, time, location, and names of attendees on your template to ensure that the meeting attendees are prepared. Add a date section to detail when the meeting will occur. Next, add a time section so that attendees know when to join the meeting. Then, add a location section to provide details about where the meeting will take place, for example, in a specific office or conference room, or via video conferencing. Include an attendee section to keep track of who attends meetings. Finally, add an agenda section to your template where you will include essential meeting topics. The sections in your meeting agenda might change depending on the type of meeting, but some topics and headings you might find useful in your template are unfinished business, new business, action items, and details for the next meetings and any additional notes. First, add a section for unfinished business. In this part of the meeting, you'll discuss any outstanding items from the last meeting, like tasks that still need to be completed or roles to be assigned. Keep this section short so that you can focus on new business. Then add a section for new business, like additional information or resources, deadlines or budget changes, new team members or roles, or any other updates for the project. Add a section for action items or immediate next steps for the project. In this part of the meeting, you'll discuss what's next for the project and who's responsible. Finally, add a next meeting section to your template. This section will include the date of the next meeting and any notes relevant to the next meeting's topic or purpose. As you use your meeting agenda template, you may want to change or add details to make it more useful. For example, if you find meetings are running longer than usual, you might add details about timing so attendees know how much time will be spent discussing each section. Now it's your turn. Add a title and purpose to your meeting agenda, add meeting details, add an agenda section, add an action item section, and add a next meeting section. In this video, you will format your meeting agenda template to make it clear and easy to use. You will also add a table of contents to your template. The table of contents helps organize the document and makes it easier to navigate to information about specific meetings. First, apply heading styles to your meeting agenda to emphasize the important words. This will make it look more organized and separate the sections more. For example, you may want to format meeting agenda as heading one because it is the title of your document and what you want people to see first. 
You might apply Heading 2 style to Agenda, Action Items, and Next Meeting since these are the main sections of your document. Apply Heading 3 to any other important words you want to stand out in your meeting agenda. When you add heading styles to sections in your agenda, the headings will appear in your table of contents. Make sure to add a heading style to date so that your meeting notes show up in the table of contents. Now add a table of contents to the beginning of the template so that you can quickly and easily find topics and information within the document. Next, add a bulleted list under each of the main sections in the agenda so that you have space to record information about each topic during the meeting. Here you can add a placeholder for the item or topic you want to discuss during the meeting and any notes you might have. While managing a project, you may find that you have more new business items than unfinished business, or the other way around. Add a few extra items to the section of your agenda that needs more space for additional topics and notes. Finally, add a bulleted list to your action item section so that you can add information from your meeting about next steps in the project. Then, customize your meeting agenda template using a color scheme or font you like. Adding colors and fonts to your meeting template will make your document look more appealing and can give each section heading or subheading more emphasis. Select a color for agenda, then update the heading style changes to match. Update the other heading styles in your template. Now it's your turn. Apply heading and subheading styles to important items. Add a bulleted list below agenda topics, choose a color scheme and font, and add a table of contents. In this video, you will practice filling out some of the information in your meeting agenda template in preparation for a meeting. You can type your own meeting details or use the information from the video to complete your template. To start, add a jump to template heading to your document. Then link the meeting agenda template to the heading. Now, whenever you're ready to create a new agenda for a meeting, 
You can click the link to jump to this original template, copy it, and then paste it within your document. To copy and paste, you can use keyboard shortcuts. Use the Ctrl C or Command C keys to copy your template. Use the Ctrl V or Command V keys to paste the template above the original version so that your template is always at the bottom. This will allow you to use your template over and over. Next, add a purpose for the meeting. This could be a routine check-in or an introductory meeting to a new project. Add the information you will need to coordinate the meetings, including the date, time, location, and attendees. Depending on the purpose of a meeting, a project manager may need specific information from stakeholders or other coworkers to keep the project moving forward. For example, a stakeholder might have new information about a project that directly impacts tasks that coworkers are responsible for completing. Ensuring that important information is communicated with the correct people in a timely way is essential as a project manager. Add a comment to the new business section in your meeting agenda Tag your coworker using their email address. And assign the comment. You can use your own email for practice if you don't have a colleague to tag. Add information about what the comment is for so that your coworkers know what kind of input is needed. Tagging them in a document will send them a notification via email to alert them that they've been assigned something. They can then open the meeting agenda and add the information for the next meeting. Now it's your turn. Add a purpose for the meeting, add meeting details, and insert a comment and tag a coworker using their email address. In this lesson, you created a meeting agenda template that a project manager might use to effectively manage a project. You added important sections to your template like meeting purpose, details, unfinished business, new business, action items, and a section to record details for the next meeting. You added formatting to your template to keep information organized and make different sections stand out to meeting attendees. You added a table of contents to make your template easier to navigate. You copied and pasted your template to reuse it and practice filling out the meeting details for a future meeting. Finally, you inserted a comment to ask for input and tagged a coworker using their email address. Now, take a moment to reflect on the process of learning about the project management field and making a meeting agenda template. Did you find this interesting, exciting, and engaging? If so, you might like to pursue learning about this career further with the additional resources linked on your screen. If you think project management might not be the career for you, explore one of several other Google career certificate fields, or try out another career lesson to explore other career options that may interest you. If you like the communication part of project management, specifically managing relationships between business partners or employees, try researching a career in business development or account management.
or research careers that use your transferable skills to find more ideas. Whether or not you pursue this career, you can still use these digital skills to keep track of your own projects or assignments at school or at work. For example, you could create an agenda for meetings with a group to track progress on a group project or assignment, or use the agenda to break an assignment into manageable chunks and track its progress. Or you could use the comments feature to tag coworkers or collaborators within a document when you need more information or support. Whatever you choose to do, the skills you have learned in this lesson can help you in a future career.